so welcome one and all so in the previous lecture we have seen about the first order linear differential equation in y so in today's lecture we will discuss about the first order linear differential equation in x so what is the general form of the first order linear de in x and how we have to solve that so one by one we will see so first of all we will see what is the general form of that equation so it is in the form of dx by dy plus p of y into x is equal to q of y so where here p and q are the known functions of y so as usually as we discussed in the previous here also we can easily solve that or to make it as exact differential we have to multiply this equation on both sides with an integrating factor and here the integrating factor is given as e power integral p of y dy so just by multiplying the equation with the integrating factor on both sides we will get e power integral p of y dy into the equation on the LHS side we have dx by dy plus p of x in p sorry p of y into x is equal to e power integral p of y dy into q of y we get okay so obviously the left hand side is nothing but an exact differential and we can write it as <coughs> d by dy of e by x into e power integral p of y dy and the right side as usually we have e power integral p of y dy into q of y we have now just by integrating it on both sides so the integral sin and the differentiation as both are inverse to each other it will cancel out and we will get it as so by integrating it on both sides we will get x into e power integral e power integral p of y dy is equal to integral of q of y into e power integral p of y dy we get it okay as and plus the integration constant arbitrary constant c we will get so this is nothing but the general solution and in generally we can write it as x into integrating factor is equal to integral of q of y into integrating factor dy plus c where c is an arbitrary constant so this is the general form of the differential equation general solution for the differential equation linear differential equation in x so let me tell you whenever you have identified the differential equation is linear in x means which is in the form of dx by dy plus p of y in dx is equal to q of y then the integrating factor is given by e power integral p of y dy and directly we can write the general solution as so this is the general solution so we can directly write it as x into integrating factor plus q of y into integrating factor dy plus c so this is how we can after evaluating the integrating factor directly we can write the general solution if we identify that differential equation is linear in x now we will discuss this one with the help of one example so here we have one problem so 1 plus y square into dx is equal to tan inverse y minus x into dy now first of all our doubt will be how can you identify whether this is linear in x or linear in y so for that one here if you observe we have a transcendental function in y tan inverse y here we have 
So therefore, there is no chance that it can be linear in y. So it must be linear in x because here we have the transcendental function tan inverse y here we have. So therefore, we can guess that this is not linear in y and linear in x. So to convert this one into the standard form of uh, linear in x, <coughs> we know the standard format dx by dy plus something. So first of all, you write dx by dy. The equation now can be written as into 1 plus y square we have is equal to tan inverse y minus x. Now you completely bring it into the standard form. <coughs> now you bring this uh, x also. So 1 plus y square into dx by dy plus x is equal to tan inverse y. Okay. Now we will write one more step also here, no problem, so that you will have more clarity. So that I am going step by step here. So dx by dy plus x by 1 plus y square is equal to tan inverse y by 1 plus y square. So now if you observe this now the given differential equation now is converted into the standard form in the form of dx by dy plus p of y into x is equal to q of y. So if we compare this one with the standard form then here we can write p of y as 1 by 1 plus y square and q of y as tan inverse y by 1 plus y square. So means clearly okay now you write the give write the given equation as sum one and which is in the standard form we can write it as equation two. So now clearly we can write it write it as so equation two is in linear or equation two is a linear differential equation in x. Okay now we will see by the procedure already we have discussed that now the integrating factor the integrating factor for this type of differential equations is of the form e power integral of p of y dy okay so means now it is here it is nothing but e power integral of p of y means what is p of y here we got it as 1 by 1 plus y square into dy so which is nothing but so integral of 1 by 1 plus y square is nothing but tan inverse y now we can write it as e power tan inverse y now this is the integrating factor now the general solution for this type of differential equations is given as so therefore the general solution of equation 2 is in the form of so we know that from the previous slide we know that what is that x into integrating factor is equal to e power uh, integral of integrating factor into q of y dy plus c. Now we will substitute all the values here in this one. So this implies we get x into integrating factor here we got it as e power tan inverse y is equal to integral of integrating factor again here you write it e power tan inverse y into q of y. What is q of y here? Tan inverse y divided by 1 plus y square we have here. So we can write tan inverse y divided by 1 plus y square whole into dy plus of course c we here we have. Okay now we have to evaluate this integral. So to evaluate this integral what we will do is <coughs> we will take this tan inverse y as some t. So because here if you observe it is of the form e power tan inverse y into tan inverse y by 1 plus y square here we have. So if you replace this tan inverse y with some t then we can easily evaluate that integral. Okay, 
now we'll take that one we'll go for to the next page and then we'll discuss that so now we'll take tan inverse y as some t then now you just substitute tan inverse y is equal to some t then here we'll get derivative of tan inverse y as 1 by 1 plus y square into dy by dx is equal to dt by dx so this is the transformation that what we can okay take now so therefore now if you substitute this one in the above equation then on the left side we have x into e power tan inverse y is equal to right side we have e power tan inverse y so instead of that you can write in place of tan inverse y we can write e power t into tan inverse y again we have so means that is nothing but t and 1 by 1 plus y square we have 1 plus 1 by 1 plus y square into dy by dx can be written as simply dt here he wrote okay dt we can write it here let's see if you want once again i will show you in the previous slide so here we have instead of tan inverse y here we have to substitute t means integral of e power t into t by dy by 1 plus y square means dt we can write it okay so like that only here i wrote now all of you know that integral of t into e power t is e power t into t minus 1 so now it is x into tan inverse y is equal to e power t into t minus 1 plus c because we know that we know the formula as in by using integration by parts x into e power x integral of x into e power x is nothing but e power x into x minus 1 so by using this formula here directly we can write e power t into t means e power t into t minus 1 now you replace what is that t value so x into e power tan inverse y is equal to here t means already we have taken as e tan inverse y so therefore you can write e power tan inverse y into tan inverse y minus 1 plus c so this is nothing but the general solution for the differential equation which is identified in linear in x so this is the procedure that how we have to follow to solve a differential equation first order differential equation which is linear in x Thank you one and all.